Bible said they produced so much fruit. Come on here. That the Egyptians wanted to kill them. So we want to work hard. We want to work hard, put more pressure on them. Because they keep producing. And they said the more that they oppress them, the more that they grew in number. See, the more that you go through, the more you're supposed to grow. Come on. See, we want to talk about the part I'm going through. Yeah, no, 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 no. Well, where your fruit at? Who you don't led to Christ? Who won't change their life because of you? Come, who, who you don't pray for? What have, who life have you changed? We ain't talking about your pastor. We're talking about you. He said, because I called you to bring me glory. Because look what he said when you do this. Look what he said. He said, because when you do that, he said, in those days when you pray, say in those days. In those days. I will listen. I will listen. So that's what he's saying to you. When you going through and you follow my plans and when you pray and while you going through, he said, I'm going to listen to you. He said, if you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. See, we got a generation that we ain't looking for Jesus. See, that when you got to get up in the night, he said, those shall seek me early, shall find me. Why are you trying to find him at 12 o'clock in the afternoon? See, if you're looking for something, you're going to get up under the chair. Come on here. You're going to go by. You're going to pull the dresser back. Come on here. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna get in them scriptures because you're going to say, I got to find them. I got to feel this God. I got to get up in the night season when everybody asleep because I got to look for him. See, we're talking about how deep your love is. Because when your love is deep, you go search for him. He said, for when, he said, I will look when you, he said, you will find me. Verse 14 said, I will be found by you, says the Lord. I will in your, what's the rest of it? I will in your captivity and restore your fortunes. He said, see, when you go through, I'm going to end those places that you was in prison. He said, I'm going to bring you out of a place of captivity. He said, I will gather you out of the nations where I sent you, and I will bring you home again to your own land. See, I told you this was when they was in bondage. See, he gave them this promise. If you go through the right way while you're in bondage, he said at the end, and when you look at the prophets and when you study this, I want to say he was either 30 or 50 years. At the end of it, day one, he brought them out. See, God is a faithful God. See, you got to understand what season are you in? Are you in winter? Are you in spring? Are you in summer? See, you got to understand where you at. You ain't going to always be like that. You ain't going to always be here. But you got to understand, if you want to know how deep your love is, turn to Isaiah 43. Because when you look at Isaiah 43, you're going to begin to see, you got to, there's a certain, he, he gives us a love language. And in this love language, you got to understand God got to take us through the process. See, when you're going through this process, this process, it may seem like you're going through hardship, but you got to understand God saying, you got to go through this way. Come on here. Because when you go through this way, it's something that he wants you to learn. It's something that he wants you to get. It's something that he wants you to understand. Because see, he's trying to change your mindset. He's trying to change the way that we think. Because see, when you go through the process, God want to let you know what's, what, what's successful in the earth is not successful in the kingdom. I'm going to say that again. What's successful in the earth is not successful in the kingdom. In other words, in the earth... The earth tells us that, that when somebody doing something to you, to do something back to them. But in the kingdom, God tell you, if you ain't got no money, he tell you to give. Come on here. If, if, in the kingdom, if you go on doing your marriage, God tell you not just to pray for your marriage, but pray for other people's marriage. If you're going through for your children, not to just stay focused on your children, but pray for somebody else's children. Come on here. In the kingdom of God, in the kingdom, God will tell you to give to those who mistreat you. But in the earth success, it'll tell you to stump on top of people to move up. But in the kingdom of God, I understand he can take me being an usher to prepare me to be a prophetess to the nation. Come on. Amen. How you can say that? He took David. He was a little shepherd as he was Amen. tending to the sheep. Come God on. was teaching him how to be the king. Come on here. So if you can't tend to your little sheep, if you can't tend to your children, how you gonna be a how you gonna be a prophet to the nation? You can't be no prophet if you can't take care of your sheep. 
Even in the midst of me going to nursing school, when I got out of school, I went straight from over 50 patients to being over seven CNAs straight out of nursing school. All of that was training. You got to understand, God will use what you do in the natural to do in the kingdom of God. Though if we despise what we're doing, if we despise our training, we're going to miss it. Come on here. God will use you to be a deliverer. God will send you to a people. Come on here, that stiff neck. We talking about we want to use, we, we, we want to be used. God sent Jonah to a people who he didn't even want to go to. But when he went to a people that God wanted him to go to, those people turned their way. See, but you want to go to people who Pastor Brown come in to go to. No, the anointing is on you for what you went through. That's why you got to work out your salvation for what you're going through so you can minister to somebody else. See, because when you look at 43 and 14. Go to 14. I think it's 14. Isaiah 43. No, it's 10. Go from 10 and then jump to 18. So when you look at 10, he said, but you are my witnesses. Oh, Israel. When you see Israel in the Bible, that word means son. He said, you are my witnesses, son, says the Lord. You are my servant. Did he say you own yourself? He said, you are my servant. In other words, that means you don't do what you want to do, but you do what he wants you to do. He said, for you have been chosen. So in other words, you didn't choose him. He chose you. So if he chose you, why are you changing your life to fit what man wants you to be? Why are you trying to be a man pleaser and not a God pleaser? God chose you. You made it through the rape because God chose you. You made it through the abuse, abusive relationship because God chose you. You made it through the trials and tribulations of your life because he chose you to be his witnesses. 